<laughs> hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Perrier, otherwise known as Jessica Posh. Connection. You guys, when I look into the camera lens and I say welcome back to my channel, I'm immediately connecting with my viewer. Our business is a numbers game. You want to grow your team by 10 people? You've got to talk to 100. It's a numbers game. But it's a numbers game rooted in relationship building. In order to find 100 people to connect with, we need to start more conversations. Now, what if I told you that you can start endless conversations 24 hours a day with just a small initial effort? People buy from people. And when you share your personality with a smile, you personalize your brand. And then people will find you. YouTube is a free platform that expands your reach endlessly. And you guys know who owns YouTube. Google, hello. If there's a potential customer or teammate typing into their search bar late at night, what is perfectly posh? Why wouldn't you want the opportunity to tell them all about it? At their convenience. Heck, you can tell the same story to 10 different people simultaneously, all while you're out on a date night, when you leverage the marketing power that is YouTube. Now, it's not just as simple as, you know, film a video, post it, and hi, am I rich yet? <laughs> There's a little more that goes into it than that. We have to give the people what they want, right? We have to make watching us a good time. <laughs> make sure that, you know, you can be seen. You have to have good lighting. You don't want shadows. You see, I have good lighting right now. I have all of the windows open. I have a little light on. You don't want shadows. You want to make it an attractive watch. Am I attractive? So yes, make sure that your light source is in front of you, not behind you. You want to make sure that you can be heard. Have good sound quality. I have told all of my chickens to be quiet while I film this. <laughs> you don't want background noises. You want to speak up. I did lose my voice a little bit on a recent incentive trip, but I'm enunciating as well as I can. You don't want background clutter, you know, don't have a toilet in the background. You want them to be focusing on you and your posh. If you've got laundry going on in the background, you're going to risk losing your viewer's attention because all of a sudden they're thinking about the laundry in their background. Now here are a couple of mechanical things for you to know. You want to film it horizontally, not vertically, right? We live in a widescreen world. So turn your phone sideways whenever you're filming and that will fill the screen. You want to stabilize your phone. Now you want to get a phone holder, right? You can prop it up against some books or you can buy a fancy phone holder like this. You want to make sure that your phone is stable and it's not super shaky. Is that a total deal breaker? No, I've made some really fabulous YouTube videos holding the phone up and talking to it myself. It's just not ideal. You also want to be an over the top version of yourself. Show your personality, be real, be you, but be memorable. I am a little bit more over the top when I'm making a video than I am in real life. And if you've met me before, you know that. But I'm still totally me. I'm just a little more extra, <laughs> which hopefully makes me memorable. Exaggerated hand movements, which I knock out of the park, <laughs> makes for great outtakes too at the end. Remember, people buy from people, so you want to be you. For the record, keeping a certain level of professionalism does not mean that you have the inability to stay true to yourself. It's simply being smart in business, right? <laughs> so look into that camera hole and engage. People buy from people, you're speaking to your people. Got it? <laughs> okay, so those are the mechanics. And now that we know how to make the videos, let's talk about what content that you wanna publish, right? Okay, now write this down. People don't remember what you say to them, they remember how you make them feel. And it applies to your videos as well. When you wanna film a video, you want to evoke emotion. Now I know what you're saying, listen, I'll make a video, Jessica, but I'm not trying to cry here. <laughs> when I say evoke emotion, I mean we want to make them smile, laugh, think, right? Say aha, yeah. And maybe we do want them to cry sometimes too. Okay, are you still with me? I'm going to give you three different types of video content that you can create, right? And I'm going to give you a couple of examples of each. So you can entertain the people, you can teach the people, or you can inspire the people. There are other types of ways we can break content out, but those are the three main ways we're going to talk about. And my first couple of examples are going to be how to entertain the people. You want to make them laugh. Okay, so one example of an entertaining video would be to do a demo, right, of a very sleepy stick. And you can kind of make it, again, over the top, a little extreme, kind of funny. I've taken pictures of my baby niece, you know, snoozing away and put a little 
very sleepy sick next to her and said, works like a charm. <laughs> I've done that with my dog. Um, you could really kind of think of a way to make it extra fun. You could do a day in the life of a mom bee, right? Halloween is coming up. It could be the life of a zombie instead of a zombie. It's a mom bee. And you could talk about the different kinds of posh that get you through your day. I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember the Calgon Take Me Away commercials, but I remember that like yesterday. And I would love to see somebody do a posh version, right? Posh, take me away. You could take your phone around and film yourself in a big pile of laundry or film yourself in a big pile of dishes or film yourself with your children running around and then all of a sudden posh take me away and your favorite posh product comes zooming into the frame that's funny right be entertaining and people will want to keep watching content idea number two right being informative teaching somebody something think about how to videos to date one of my best performing videos on youtube is how to do a body scrub there is one billion different ways you can do a body scrub, but I made a video showing people how to do a body scrub and I have gotten endless messages thanking me <laughs> because somebody didn't know how. Don't underestimate the power of knowledge, how to get perfect um, you know, lipstick application. Do a lip scrub first. Take them through the basic steps of doing a lip scrub and you would be surprised at how many people are excited to learn. When you're doing product reviews, think about doing a product review more than doing a product ad, right? When you are providing information on what it looks like, what it smells like, what it feels like, how you use it, when you use it, people are going to be a lot more excited in that product than if you're just holding it up saying, this is the best product ever. I love it so much. You should buy it, right? Do we see the difference between a product review and a product ad? That's an informative content video. And the last type of content I'm going to cover in this training is how to inspire inspirational videos. So some ideas about that is why I posh, your posh why, your posh story. When did you join and how has it been for you? When I was first getting started in YouTube, I made a video of my first 90 days in business. And I just talked about what I had learned, what I had accomplished. You could do a my first year in business. You could do a my first five years in business. You could do a my first week in business. <laughs> you get the idea, right? Share something about you, about yourself, about your journey, and people are going to be really excited and it might also inspire them to give it a try themselves. Okay, and in conclusion, I'm going to give you the real secret sauce on how to be successful on YouTube. Come in closer because it's really a secret. And it's kind of the same as the secret in our business. Be consistent. Do these things consistently and your team, well, your team will grow too. Your YouTube will grow too. <laughs> Do these things consistently and your influence will grow. I hate that word. Just be consistent. <laughs> oh Lord, help me. When you film videos that entertain, inform, or inspire and evoke emotion, consistently you will build an audience and it's just a matter of time before that audience wants to take part in your business whether they want to try some products or try the business for themselves remember guys it's a numbers game rooted in relationships so speak to your viewer be vulnerable you guys and if it's scary for you know that the magic does happen outside of your comfort zone people don't remember what you say they remember how you make them feel so I challenge you Feel the fear, have all of the doubts, and do it anyway. You'll be glad that you did. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that it was helpful, and best of luck to you and your business. Bye-bye.